Hey everybody, it's Barbie, Pedal Pusher. Welcome to my channel. Um, for all you new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. We had a big bump in numbers last time, so awesome. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Thanks for coming back and hanging out with me. It's been a while. Um, it always seems, the time seems to go get really fast in between last two videos. It's like, you think, oh, I just made one. And I'll make another one here really soon. And then like before you know it, bing, bang, boom, a whole month in like two weeks has passed. But it's been busy. We've had a lot of um, end of the year stuff starting to happen here. My son finished up the year of Cub Scouts. Um, we've had gymnastics going on. I mean, just stuff that those of you with kids in school right now, you get it. It's crazy right now. We have a ton more to go. And then throw in birthday season around here. So my birthday was last Thursday, the 11th. Um, today's the 15th. Happy tax day if you're in the U.S. Um, so yeah, my birthday was the 11th. My oldest son's birthday was yesterday. He turned eight. So we've been very busy doing all the birthday stuff. Um, it's finally warming up. So we're getting outside more. The garden's starting to wake up. I've got some yard work to do. I mowed the other day. So which is all good things. I'm glad it's warm. I'm ready for sunshine. This pasty skin needs a little vitamin D on it. So we'll get there here soon. Um, yeah, leaves are starting to pop out. So good stuff all around. More importantly, mushrooms are starting to pop out. So where I live and a good chunk of the country, I think you guys have this, we have morel mushrooms. Um, sometimes I think they're called sponge mushrooms. But my dad and I and my sister and my husband and my oldest, we all sometimes like to go hunt them. I love to eat them, which is weird for me because I'm a really picky eater, but I do love morel mushrooms. You do the egg and then you do dip them in the egg, dip them in the flour, and then you fry them up in butter. Delicious. Because um, what doesn't taste good fried in butter? So anyway, that brings me, we'll just jump right in, I guess. Um, so I wanted to show you some older patterns. So believe it or not, I started making patterns all the way back in 2015, I believe. Wow. So August 2015, I popped up some of my first patterns. Um, actually, Kindred Spirits was my first one. So that was kind of fun. Well, was it my... No, maybe that wasn't my first. That kind of was the first time I really like, hey, I'm going to seriously kind of do this. Um, before that, I had made a couple patterns. The way I got my name Pedal Pusher, in case you're wondering, because a couple people are like, that has nothing to do with cross stitch. Why is that your name? So in 2008, we'll go back some more even, um, Etsy was pretty new still at that point, And I wanted to open a store. I was creating artwork at that time where I would use scrapbook paper and I would cut it out and I would draw a picture first of a botanical um, and I would cut it out and use scrapbook paper to like collage piece it together and make all these pictures and so I was doing flowers I really in particular wanted to do wild flowers that grow around here like Dutchman's Britches and May Apples and Sweet William and all these things so Petal Pusher at the time fit really well and so I've had that store for 11 years now, basically. Um, there were many years in between where I didn't do anything with it. So when I started to design and sell cross-stitch patterns, I just kept the store name because I liked it. And I do still like flowers, obviously. If you've noticed any of my work, um, nature and flowers feature heavily in it. So I thought, hey, why not keep it? So that's the story in case you're ever wondering. If you weren't wondering, sorry, that was a boring minute or two. But these two cross stitch designs actually originated as collage patterns and then I changed them into cross stitch. And back to the morels, see it's all, it's all coming together now. Um, so they're morel cross stitch patterns. So this is a yellow morel mushroom. You can see this is early stitching. It's on Ada. Um, it's very poorly framed um, in a hoop here. And then I also did gray morels. So if you are a mushroom person and a mushroom hunter, you know, the grays come out first. I think they're the most delicious because they're little. And then the yellows come out. So the weather has been wet. It's supposed to be really warm tomorrow, close to 80. Yay. 
So Wednesday, I'm going out in the woods and I hope to hunt some mushrooms and find some. Fingers crossed. So can't wait. They're delicious. That's the only kind of hunting I do. My husband hunts. I only hunt mushrooms. I think that's a lot easier and nicer and less messy in my opinion. We're not going to get on that subject. Anyway, so that's an oldie, oldie but a goodie. Um, I know the yellows are in my shop. I think the grays, if I haven't renewed those recently, I will. So they'll be in my shop. And while I'm on it, just while well, it's on my brain, because I'm sorry, this video is going to be totally scattered. Um, it's spring break here. My kids are off this whole week. They're not here right now because they spent the night at Grandma and Grandpa's last night. So one's, the little one's napping. The two big ones, they'll spend the night. So that's why I have a quiet moment to make this video. But since it's spring break, I thought we'd have a sale. So um, it's just spring sale. If you use that coupon, it's 15% off everything in my Etsy store. So I'll put the link below for my Etsy store. But spring sale. And I will also um, put the code down below. And I'll put it on Instagram later. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it advertised there. So that's going to be good from now until... I believe it would be Sunday night, Easter night. So the whole week, 15% off, shop it up because there's gonna be some big changes coming. So if you have your eye on something, you might wanna grab it now. Um, just some changes of formatting, pricing, various things like that. Cause I got a lot of stuff in the works in the background here that I can't tell you guys about yet. But um, yeah, so just grab it if you want it because now's a good time. Okay, I don't know. I feel like I'm being weird today. Sorry. Um, let's do wits. So if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm doing a Prairie Schooler Sal with Misty and Helen. We call it the A Very Prairie Year Sal. I'll link that below. And you can join in any time. It's a very loosey-goosey Sal. Start one Prairie Schooler a month. That's it. Don't have to finish it. Doesn't have to be big or little, just whatever you want. Any prairie schooler, any day of the month, start it. Great, fabulous. So, um, I am still working on my February start. So, this is my working copy. I started Daffodils in February. There it is. This has been in the car with me a lot. It's been to Cub Scouts, it's been to gymnastics, it's been all over the place. And I feel like it's been Nashville even. And I feel like I've been working on it forever with very little progress. If you watched me last time, you know I was um, hung up on the house color. So the house is pink. April's house is pink. I felt like it was a little too much pink, although I like pink. And I heard all your wonderful suggestions. Thank you so much, everyone that commented. And I agreed with you and went with it. And so my house is yellow. So I still did the blue door, which, yes, I've changed the blue and brightened it. But here's where I am at. That yellow took a lot of debating. Um, I've discovered DMC does not have as many yellows as I think they need to have. So DMC, if you're listening, I think you need more yellows, especially of the creamy, buttery yellow variety. Um, so this one is a DMC. I forget what number. But like there wasn't a good, just a little lighter, a light enough that you could see a difference, but not like super pale. Cause I tried one that I think was 746, which is ivory, I believe. Um, and it was just too pale. So what I ended up going with is a color and cotton thread I had in my stash. It's called buttercream and it seemed to do the trick pretty well. So I really wasn't necessarily wanting a variegated, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So as you can tell, I am working on the alphabet and I've got the sheep to do. I'm filling in the never ending grass right now. And then there's a row of daffodils. I think I'm going to leave off the border, I think. Um, and then I do still have to finish around the windows and doors just because it's white and I've been putting off doing it, but there it is. So far so good. I will finish it eventually. This is part of my Stitch 9 challenge. So if you saw the video on that, I talk about that. Um, so I do definitely want to get that done this year. So whip number one. My other two things I want to show you were new starts, whips, and then finishes. Bada bing, bang, boom, all done in one. Um, 
So let me show you. So that was, Daffodils is my February prairie schooler year. A very prairie year sal start. I already started and finished my March one. So for March, I had gotten this chart um, and I decided to do this one. I think they're actually supposed to be purple martins maybe. Yep. So that one right there. The purple martins and if you've watched me for a while, you know by now I, for some reason, have this thing where I have to change a lot of the Prairie Schooler colors to make my life more difficult, I guess. So I brightened some things up, um, left some things the same, and I did my very first ever. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't hold on to it. My very first ever pillow finish. So there it is. Um... So I did it on, this is coffee tea dyed Monaco where I dyed it aqua with the writ and then coffee tea dyed it, did the quick dunk. Um, my rick racking is not perfect, but it's not bad. It's nice and nice and firmly stuffed. Um, okay, so it's not 100% FFO because I've been lazy and haven't sewed that up yet, but I will, I promise. I'll get there one of these days. This is just Walmart fabric. But I think it turned out pretty good for not knowing exactly what I was doing and just winging it. I'm pleased. So very cute. March is done. We'll talk about what April will be here in a little bit. My other start, whip, and then finish um, in March, I was, clearly you can see, I was like frustrated with daffodils and so I needed some quick things to do. So my other one that I did is... Spring by Lizzie Kate. This is from Spring Smalls. I don't have it. I already have it put away because this was like four weeks ago, I think, that I did this thing. Um, again, coffee tea dyed Monaco. And then I just pulled from my color and cotton stash and some other things that I had. I changed. So the P was purple. And I think all these big X's were purple. Um, I changed that egg to orange instead of green. I made those dark brown instead of white. Um, I think that's about it. And then all I just did was glue some rickrack on the bottom. And this is from, this easel is from Michael's. It is the perfect size for this. So I plan on getting all these stitched up, hopefully this year, maybe this year. I don't know. And swapping them out. So I love it. It sits on my nightstand by my bed. So I can see it every night, every morning. And it makes me happy. So, yay. Yay. Two finishes. All right. Sorry, my computer just dinged. Um, so let's do... Oh, I have a mystery stitch. I can't really show you. You'll see it eventually in a couple months. But I used these pretty threads from Weeks. I love... This is my new favorite. Like, I love a good corally color. Um, I'm not a big red person, but I do like a coral. And this color, if you're looking for a good coral, Grenadine Week Cyworks is fantastic. I highly recommend. Um, so it's Grenadine, new color Glacial Melt. I'm pretty sure that was new this year. Cactus, very kind of like beach glassy color. And Blackboard. So I think Especially with these three. Kind of a summery, beachy kind of pattern. And I was so pleased with my first pillow finish. Can't show you. Sneaky peeky. Um, I'm working on another one. Still have to sew that up too. I just stuffed this like an hour or so ago. We were down here, me and my youngest, playing in the basement. And he was playing in the kitchen that we have down here for the kids. And I was stuffing, sewing and stuffing. So there's also a trim that'll go on this, but you'll see that in a minute. So that's that's the sneaky stitch you cannot see yet. Oh boy, do we have a lot of haul. Um, I don't think I shop that much. And then I go to do one of these videos and I'm like, okay, you have a spending problem, Barry. You need to slow it down. Some of this is birthday stuff. So, and a lot of it was a good price. Because you know me, I'm a thrifty kind of gal. All right. 
So since it's tax day, my tax place is located directly across the street from my LNS. Like you could sit in the front lobby, look out the window, and there's the LNS. So if you're turning in your taxes, it's not necessarily a fun or happy thing for some people. Um, thankfully, we have three lovely little tax helpers upstairs that help us out a little bit. Um, so yeah, you got to go visit your LNS while you're there. So I did. I got to chat with her about market, which was fun. Um, and I got some goodies. So I bought Crinkle Crinkle. Here's what I got. While I was there, I always stock up on her Prairie Schooler stash because why not? I don't know how long this store is going to remain open. So when I'm there, I grab them. So I got Rain Rain Go Away. And I love, I love the way these trees are in these. So plans to do this, no time immediate, but gotta grab it. And I really liked the measure of a year as well. I thought these could be fun to do, like just little individual, individual little guys. So who knows, maybe they'll crop up in my prairie year. Maybe they'll just go in with the collection and hang out there for a while. I don't know. I bought, while I was there also, my very first Brenda Gervais. I have loved her patterns with thy needle and thread or, for a while. So I got one. So I went with Basketful of Summertime. So hopefully that can maybe, maybe be this year. I say that and then I think, oh, but I really want to stitch this and this and this and this. I think we all have that problem, don't we? Like so many things I want to do. So, oh, and then I also got with no plans, just, hey, I'm here. Let's buy some fabric. Why not? So I got some 32 count. That's not going to show up well. Nope, nope. I don't know. It's Stars Hollow. It's a very lovely, like, kind of a coffee tea dyed color. So 32 count Stars Hollow. I think that's an R&R &R reproductions fabric, I think. So big chunk of that, just because. Um, I have gotten some color and cotton in, so I got my, oh, there you go, um, fabric of the month. This is my last one because I've got a big stash, so I decided to go ahead and stop for a while. So it's pistachio. Yep, I'm lazy. I didn't take it out of the bag. It's a little more greeny, yellowy green than what you're seeing there. So that's pretty. That will get used at some point. And I got my new flosses. I forget which month is which because I've gotten two since then. I think this was March. So there are those pretty pretties. Mm, fairly accurate. This is way more like a muted mint kind of color. And this is like a peachy color. It looks almost grayish brown there, but very pretty. And these are nice and bright. I think this was the April. And there they are. So I will continue to insert these into my own stitching for different things because they're just fun and lovely. So there is that. So then I have a saved search on eBay for a couple patterns. And this one popped up and it's one I've been looking for. Um, for a while, and so I grabbed it. <laughs> it's witching hour. By surprise, Prairie Schooler. <gasps> Who would have thunk that I would have bought something like that? Shocking. Um, I love the house in this one, and I really love those tree people. Does anyone remember, I think it was, it's got to be Disney, the Disney movie Babes in Toyland, and there were like those big talking tree people, and they had the big mouths that were like, like flappy, flappy mouth people, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You'll know what the mouths were like. That's what these tree people on here make me think of. So I had to get that because we used to watch that when I was little. Does it have a net funicello in it? I don't know. Maybe. It's old. It's an old, old Disney. But a goodie. All right. And that, um, and then let's see, what else do I have stash wise? Oh, I had an I put in an order from Lady.Creates, the fabulous, wonderful Lois. 
sweetest lady ever. And so I got two chenille trims. So I got sea glass and vanilla. And this guy is going on here. Maybe later today. Although I just got a text that my mom is leaving with the kids. So I've got about 30 minutes till they're here. So we'll see if that happens. Um, what else? Oh, so I went thrifting. I went to my favorite thrift store. I didn't get any quilts. Sorry. No more quilt finds. No more paint by number finds. But I did buy myself some for my birthday. And I should have showed you, but they're already upstairs hanging on my wall. Um, I did have a save the stitches. So I found this at my favorite thrift store for $3.99. Um, it always, I don't know, does it make you guys sad when you see these at like Goodwill and Salvation Army? Because clearly someone stitched this, had it professionally double matted, framed. I mean, it's nicely done. Looks like D, D, R were the initials here. D, R. No, this is not my style. Um, I'd say this is probably late 80s, early 90s maybe. I feel like my mom would have stitched something like this back then when she was stitching. But it's hard to pass up a good square frame. And I do like this frame. So for $3.99, this won't get thrown in the trash. I'll put it somewhere safe. Um, there's a little damage over here. A little bit. But square frame, when you see them, you got to grab them because they're hard to find. Um, also at the thrift store, I found, clank, clank, clack, I found this, um, silver tray. So again, thinking Priscilla and Chelsea kind of finish, because I love that when Priscilla uses the silver and it just, I don't know, just old and crusty and got a fun patina. It was three bucks. Um, so yeah, grab that. No plans, just adding it to my stash of random stuff that I have. And then I found this awesome gravy boat and platter. So I love the oval shape of this. I think that would be fun to mount something on. Tape's still on it. But how cool is this guy? Like, is that not, like, where's the genie? Kind of shape. That is a fun gravy boat. So I'm almost thinking of like putting a little plant in it, like a little succulent or something. I don't know. I think that'd be cute. I just love the shape of it. And again, the fun, the fun old patina is awesome. So those were my thrifty finds. Put this back here. And since I was at the thrift store and Hobby Lobby's right around the corner, you have to go there. Um, I think what I got I think I got some more sticky board because you have to when you're there and then I believe it was I think it was Amy Loves Toads that showed this if I'm wrong which there's a really good chance I'm wrong but I'd watched a floss tube where um, someone had showed this frame and they're like it's not at my Hobby Lobby anymore and I wish it was and they had a gray and I wish I would have grabbed it maybe it was Helen I don't know I'm losing my mind guys must be because I had my birthday and I'm getting older now. Anyway, um, so I was at my Hobby Lobby. I saw it and I thought, yeah, that's a really cute frame. I don't have something to put in it, but I'm grabbing it because it's pretty and it's my style. So it's this frame. I love the kind of like the beadboard and it's the blue color that I love and I like the white. and Something will go in this, right? I mean, how cute would like... If you looked at the sizes, maybe like a couple of the glitter houses, not that I own those, but I don't know, something will fit. It was pretty, so I bought it. And it's Hobby Lobby, so it was 50% off. Go for it. All right, continuing with our randomness, I also bought myself, I decided with all my color and cotton floss that I've been getting for the last two years maybe now, um, and various other flosses here and there. How are we doing on time? 24, okay. Um, so what I'd been doing is I'd been taking basically a baggie and like putting all the of one color, so like all the blues in a bag and the greens and so on. And then I had all those baggies in like a really big Ziploc bag. 
and shoved in a drawer that's right over here <laughs> to the side of my desk that I'm at. And it wasn't the most practical storage solution. Definitely not very pretty. Um, Misty, I believe it was you that had shown this. And so I went to Michael's and I saw it and I used a coupon and I bought it and I love it. So it's this big case. It's actually, what does it say? Large photo and craft keeper. So I think normally it's like 40 something dollars, but just watch your coupons, use a 50% off. Oops, sorry, it's heavy. Oh, also worth noting, because I did this, this is not a handle. I looked at it and thought, oh, two handles. And so I'm walking out of the store with the two, well, almost two year old in one arm and my other purchases in a bag. And I just went to grab this and went, grab both handles or what I thought were handles and started walking. And of course, promptly this part went and all the boxes went flying out all over across the floor of the Michael's checkout area, which was very nice. And did anyone help me pick them up? Here I am, baby, bag, stuff everywhere. No, come on people, help a girl out. Anyway, um, I managed to recover them all pretty quickly. At least they were empty, so. Anyway, uh-oh, hang on. All right, someone needs, okay, I'm back. Hopefully that was just like a barely little pause and I've managed to learn how to stick two videos together Fingers crossed. If not, then welcome to part B. One of the two. I don't have time to go back and redo all that stuff. So, anywho, um, can someone tell me, because again, not the most tech savvy over here. I put my phone, so my phone hooks to my computer. I put my phone on do not disturb thinking, okay, no calls or texts or whatever will come through. But as you could just hear that bing, um, another text came through and a phone call is what interrupted the last thing. So if you know how to make it not do that, let me know. I'm using QuickTime Player right now, so I don't know. <laughs> Let's hope no one else calls. So anyway, so I got my big box of floss. So I went through, the kids helped me one day and we had fun putting everything in rainbow order. So I just put everything in there, laid them in there. I've got some random like limited editions that I bought at market. I've got all my color and cotton. Anything that is a variegated hand dyed type of floss, I am keeping in here. So I've got my whole rainbow of colors. Easy to find, easy to get to, um, and prettier. And that's important too. So there is that. Looking around. Okay, I think that's everything I bought, finally. Um, oh, I do have a birthday gift to show you. So my parents bought me for my birthday something that was my unicorn pattern, although it's funny. So I found it, again, had an eBay search for it, found it on eBay for a pretty good price. And so like a month and a half, well, I guess it was in February, I called my mom and I was like, hey, if you need a birthday idea for me, here's the link. It's a pretty good price. I've been really looking for this. I can't ever find it. So if you want to grab it for me for my birthday, that'd be great. And then fast forward, so apparently she bought it. Fast forward like two weeks later, we're at Nashville Market, my mom and I, and we walk into the gentle arts room and there's a whole bucket sitting there of this pattern. And it was like, I could have gotten it for like eight bucks. I was like, oh, I'm going to grab one of these. That's great. My mom was like, don't, don't, it's too late. Spoiling your birthday surprise. Like, oh, sorry, mom. So anyway, it is Cardinal Points. So this is a Gentle Arts and Long, whoop, whoop, wrong way. Gentle Arts and Long Dog Samplers collaboration that came out a couple years ago. Um, I think Misty bought some of these. So if you like this, check her shop out, okay? I think she got them at market. If not, sorry, Misty, I'm incorrect. But I love the bright colors. You know me. I'm a rainbow color, bright color kind of girl. Um, Cardinal is our state bird. So, yeah. When will I start it? Who knows? But it's pretty and it's in my collection. So, thank you, Mom and Dad. All right. Plans. Um, 
finish. Hopefully next time I talk to you. Like I said, a lot of behind the scenes stuff going on, not necessarily things that I can like, oh look, here's this, but um, businessy stuff, which I am know nothing about. Um, so thank you, Stephanie, for helping me with that. Um, and just getting my act together, trying to get things going a little bit more and some big things are coming up in June. So fingers crossed. For my April Prairie, a very prairie year South start. It'd help if I got the hashtag that I created right one of these times. Um, I'm kind of thinking from summer samplers, I've been thinking about doing this one. I don't have a lot of summer things. Um, I mean, I like all three. They're, they're all very pretty. Part of me is like, oh yeah, you should do that. And part of me is like, oh, another big one. Do another little pillow. It took, I mean, this took me, I think, three days to stitch, which was wonderful. Um, but I do like this one. I like the lettering on it. Of course, it's me, so I'd probably change the colors. I don't know. Sometimes pink and blue and yellow. I don't know if it's because they're derivatives of all, you know, like primary colors, the pink being a tint of red, technically. Um, I don't know. Something about the colors feels a little too countryish for my taste. I don't know. Something about it is throwing me off a bit. Maybe if I brightened up some of the pinks or change the blue to, I don't know what, or a brighter, but I don't know. Clearly, I haven't thought about this that much. Um, but I do like that one. And I don't think it'd take forever and a day because we all know letters go pretty fast. And then that's just a little border. You only have, you have these three little motifs, which would take a little bit of time, but I don't think it'd be horrible. So I've got 15 days to decide and we'll go from there. People are starting to talk stitch mania. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Originally I'd planned on doing, I have Prairie School or Country Seasons, and I thought, oh, I'm going to do like last year where I did Lizzie Kate and I started a different season each week and tried to finish it in a week, which was good. It worked out really well last year and I was able to do it this year. I just feel like I've got too many things going on and I don't know that, I feel like I'd be stressing myself out if I did that. So what I'm batting around doing, and this may change because you never know, but I think what I'm going to do is maybe do either like focus on my stitch nine challenge items. So maybe do like one week on this one. And then so like, um, I don't know. Oh, the Mason jar lineup, maybe a week on Mason jar lineup. And then maybe a week on if daffodils still isn't done, maybe a week on daffodils. Um, maybe a week on Christmas Town by Stitch Rovia or, or something like that where I just one a week. Maybe I'll throw in a new start for Stitch 9 because I've got Buzzy String here is on my Stitch 9. So maybe I'll start that. Um, just because May gets so busy. Um, we've got two birthdays. I'm going to have a two-year-old and a six-year-old happening in May. The first one being on May 1st. Um, so you got birthdays, you got end of the school year with all the stuff that comes with that of concerts and events and picnics and blah, blah, blah. So that's kind of what I'm thinking is maybe do a stitch nine challenge mania and do one a week of just to work on them. But we'll see. So tell me what you're doing. Are you going to do new starts? Are you going to do... A monogamous piece the whole time. I thought about doing that. I really did. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. I say we'll see a lot. We'll see. I don't know. All right. I think that is it. Um, sorry that this video has been a bit of a wild, crazy me yammering on really fast and tons of stuff everywhere. It's, it's like a bomb went off in here. I've been trying to like clean stuff out and reorganize and down that way is the play area and it's like a bomb went off my youngest likes to get this little thing we have of old like easter eggs plastic ones and he just dumps them all and throws them everywhere 
and I put them all back in and then he'll find it, take it out and throw them everywhere. <laughs> and so it's like Easter has thrown up all over the basement here. So hopefully things aren't as crazy where you are. Hopefully the weather's getting warm for you. And thanks again for joining me. And hopefully I'll see you, hopefully a lot. Hopeful, hopeful. Um, and maybe I'll see you before May. If not, happy mania to those of you who participate. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye, guys.